So Raghunandan Thakur was born in Srikanda. His father's name was Mukunda Das Kaviraj, and his uncle's name was Narahari Sarakar. There were three brothers, Madhava Das, Mukunda Das, and Narahari. And Mukunda Das was the royal physician. He was such an expert Ayurvedic doctor that the Muslim king personally would call him whenever he was sick. So one time the king was on a raised platform, sitting on his throne, and he called Mukunda Das. And Mukunda Das was giving him prescriptions for medicine. And then someone came to fan the king with a peacock tail fan. And when he saw the peacock tail, he remembered Krishna. And as soon as he remembered Krishna, he went into trance and fell unconscious and fell off the raised platform onto the ground. And the king thought he was dead. The king jumped down and went down and picked him up and said, Are you all right? He said, Yes, I am all right. There's no pain. He said, Why did you fall? Now, such great souls will never tell that they're great souls. So instead of saying what happened, he said, I have a mild case of epilepsy. And sometimes I do like this. But it's all right. Now I'm all right. But the king was a wise man. He understood that he's an ecstatic devotee of Krishna. And he went into trance. And he honored him and told him, you can go home. So his son was Raghunandan. And at home they had a deity of Gopinath. And Mukunda Das worshipped this deity of Gopinath with great love and devotion. And Raghunandan Thakur, when he got a little older, he was given the sacred thread and his father was training him to do some puja for the deity. So one day, Mukunda Das was called to go out of town to do some work, some medical work for the king. So he told Raghunandan that you should offer bhoga today to the deities. You just offer with love and devotion or the bhoga and make sure the deity eats. So Mukunda Das' wife made nice bhoga and gave to Raghunandan. He was a young boy, and he brought it on the altar, and he said, Dear Gopinath, please eat. So Gopinath glanced at the food and ate it through his eyes. But Raghunandan didn't understand us eating through eyes. So he said, Please, Gopinath, I'm offering. My father has asked me, please eat. But the food was still there. So Raghunandan began to weep and cry that he is not accepting my offering. My life is a failure. And the deity could understand. So just to please Raghunandan, right in front of his eyes, the deities just started eating everything. There was nothing left. So Raghunandan was very happy. And he brought the plate off. And Raghunandan's mother <laughs> What happened to all the prasad? He said, Gopinath ate it. So she didn't believe him. So when Mukunda Das came home that evening, she said, I think our son ate all the boga while it was on the altar it came off there was nothing on the plate Mukundadas asked Raghunandan why there's no boga he said because Gopinath ate you told me he should eat and he ate so Mukundadas understood his son was very special so he made some ladu he said you offer this ladu so Raghunandan went on the altar and Mukundadas was hiding secretly watching (laughs) and Raghunandan offered the ladu and he said, please eat this ladu. And Gopinath wasn't eating, so he started crying again. So Gopinath ate. But he only ate half because he just had full meal. (laughs) So he only had enough for half the ladu. So Mukunda Das understood who is this son of mine. So one time in Jagannath Puri, after Ratha Yatra, there were seven parties of Kirtan during Ratha Yatra in Puri. And one of the parties was the residence of Srikanda. And Raghunandan was the lead dancer of that party. He was a beautiful dancer. He would dance so gracefully for the pleasure of the Lord as everyone loudly chanted the Holy Name. One year as they were leaving, Lord Chaitanya turned to Mukunda Das and said, Are you the father of Raghunandan or is Raghunandan the father of you? And Mukunda Das Sarakar replied, Raghunandan is the father of me. 
Because of his devotion, he has brought our whole family, including me, to the lotus feet of Lord Krishna. And when Lord Chaitanya heard this, he said, yes. One who brings us to the lotus feet of Krishna is our spiritual master. He is our father. And then Lord Chaitanya gave them instructions. Very important for everyone to understand. He told Mukunda Das Sarakar, he was a grihasta. He said, you be an exemplary grihasta and you earn material and spiritual wealth in your life. And then he told Raghunandan Thakur, he said, you should worship the deity in the temple. And he told Narahari Sarakar, he said, you should stay here in Jagannath Puri with me and remain in the association of devotees and preach. And these are the three basic services according to one's nature. To be a grihasta, to be exemplary in one's occupation, in one's family, and to earn both materially and spiritually. Another is to be in the temple and to do seva for the deity. And the other is to be in the association of devotees and to preach. And they are all equal. According to one's own nature, one can engage in the service of the Lord. And Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu encouraged all to work together in harmony by spreading the glories of the Holy Name. Listening to Radhanath Swami on thesacredconnect.com.